Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. That could have been the Beatles. Could have been. <laughs> could have been. 1966? Uh, it could have been. It actually sounded like the Beatles. Now, so. I mean, that's Steve's intro. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. As, as John said, I'm Steve. <laughs> I'm here today with the dude. Hoy. And Britt. And Captain Jack. <laughs> and... Christy? No. <laughs> I, I was, I was going to say Bunny and go with it. Because we were going to Bunny. Yeah, yes, Bunny. Bunny. <laughs> Some bunny ears. And Chelsea. And John. Howdy. Mike, what do you think of that drink tonight? Uh, Lagunitas, a uh, little something uh, extra is always a good one. Classic Lagunitas is up north, yeah? Something. Is that Lagunitas up north or in San Diego? Goddammit. Petaluma, yeah, up north, yeah. So up north from San Diego is some time to Not go. that that's where no, we're at. <laughs> not that we're in San Diego, because, hey, guess what? We're not in San Diego. No. But, Please. yeah. Just Secret. Down. Just narrowing it down. Just narrowing it down. Secret it's a drone. Hey, it's, it's been like two years. <laughs> <laughs> the crosshairs of the drone is just getting smaller. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're just getting their data points. All right, well, so they can't be here and not X that one up. I Somehow I picture, bird. like, FBI agent, and there's a map on the wall. He's smoking a cigarette, and he's got, like, the like the suspender-like holster, and he's just all, damn it, if I could only find out where they're at, you know? Put the X's on the camera. Yeah, I'm not there. <laughs> there's, like, a poster on the wall behind him, and it just says the truth is out there. <laughs> <laughs> for those uh, <laughs> former military members, you used to have like a, a map where it had a, a, a bullseye of how many miles away from like Camp Pendleton, as an example, or Camp Lejeune, or wherever. And it would say for uh, 24, for 48, you could go 50 miles. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> right now they're at like 240 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, did anyone see what happened up in Anaheim recently? I've watched what is apparently the only video of it there is. There's no, like, other angle on it that I've seen. And it's, Hmm. and so it appears to me that, and that's the thing, is that there was more length to that video but even the one, the only one that's out there has already been cut short. So, so you're not what, seeing like everything that happened. What happened to like the two dozen other people with cell phone cameras? What happened to them? Yeah, well, yeah, that's the <laughs> thing. It's like you know, there there's only seems to be like one video of it, which is odd. Hmm. You know, Maybe especially more nowadays. On the when but, so happen? so apparently, what happened was in Anaheim, the KKK with like neo Nazis had some rally, and a bunch of people came and attacked them. Yeah. Was asking for it, right? Well, yeah, but still, I mean, you can ask just for it be- all you want yeah, to. you still should <laughs> create violence against somebody just because they believe in. I don't agree with what they believe in, but right. I'm still not going to go aggressive. I wouldn't, them. but I think it's a bad move on there. No one should be a, a, a aggressed against unless it's like. Those anarchists or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't the KKK was, kind of an aggressive? Aren't Damn they hippies. aggressive mm-hmm. just in their like ideology? Well, I mean, it's not that, that, like I don't uh, obviously like I don't agree with it, and I'm not gonna you know go on to the lengthy ex- explanation of why I don't agree with it. Because to me, if anybody knows me, it's apparent I'm not like that. So obviously, I don't agree with them. You but don't agree with who? With the KKK guys, you know, they're the whole ide- ideology for everything. But yeah, back in the day, they were incredibly violent. They used to hang people. Right, you yeah. know, I mean, so there's that. No, no. But are the they... sins of the fathers is that should that be brought to them? I mean, I, I, I still think there 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 is a real big thing here of uh, uh, we could easily collectivize everybody and every person as doing the exact same thing, whether or not they believe in an ide- ideology or not, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to act upon it. Doesn't mean that's but, right. Okay, but isn't like. Doesn't doesn't like the swastika, for instance. Is doesn't that symbol, isn't that symbol an expression of a threat? No, the swastika is actually a very spiritual. Like a it's a yeah. spiritual. No, it was. It, it was. But it was. It is what it is. <laughs> and that's not how they are displaying actually, it. In Asian culture, you got. Yeah. You got. Well, you got to look at context. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, you're right. You're right. You're right. They inverted it. That's very true. 
okay. it was facing to the left or to the right. And but if I'm made it white and I direction. subscribe to I think Eastern it was originally religion, in this case, uh, don't let us like, to come. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, no, <laughs> don't. What, would it be red? Would it be tilted? Yeah. Well, there's other ways it's, it's expressed, too, not exclusively uh, in the tilted position. Yeah, but this is clearly a rally for neo-Nazis. Yeah, I guess mm-hmm. you mean, right. Absolutely. So doesn't doesn't the the symbolism there doesn't that isn't isn't built into that just like you know like with a policeman's badge? What is a neo-Nazi? Yeah, but I'm not gonna go and um, smack a policeman just because I don't like him. I'm just not but does that make it, upon him. Does that does like that mean it would be wrong to do yeah, so though? <laughs> does okay. it mean it would be wrong to do so though? Yes, it would be wrong for well, me to go and smack him. Just he didn't do anything to me yet. If he smacked me, I could go smack him. You know, I could Once I could he pulls protect his gun myself. From his holster, then you can yes. smack him. Yes. Well, I could protect myself. I could at least Where were they doing Well, he pulls the out the billy club. Is that uh, is that far enough? Well, yet? not in Disneyland and so Yeah, it was Disneyland. like a block from Disneyland or something like that. <laughs> Yeah. Which is another LA crazy LA? thing, right? Is like, still isn't California no, supposed to be all progressive and everything, and we're having of, white supremacists marching in the streets? Yeah. Yeah. Well, is this yeah, 1966? Did they ask for permission? Did they get like a permit to march or whatever? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. They probably, I, they honestly, probably I don't know did. that much I about it. Permit. <laughs> yeah, we got Mike's. Yeah, I made permits for everybody. I got the goddamn. I mean, you gotta think if you're like. A black person, and you see something like they're doing it in the I mean, city, and you see something like yeah, that. I, I mean, but how much that? Do you do you know? Know? I don't, I don't make it right. It just doesn't. If you were black and you saw it, and you're walking by, and you see some KKK going, I mean, you don't attack them, but I could see. Just be like, why look at those idiots. Angry. That's what you say. I mean, <laughs> I can see the but, anger, but I can't see the but violence. Isn't, African American, the not politically correct thing anymore. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> well, where's your hood? I do think it was funny that we were watching the video, and I, I think Christy, was it you? We were like, well, was that a cop? And I said, no, yeah, that was oh, one of the neo-Nazi yeah, guys. Which, side note, it's really funny. The uh, LAPD have their uniforms the way their uniforms are because it's actually modeled after the SS uniforms. Oh, wow. So it was really funny wow. when you're like, oh, those, those new Nazis look like cops. And I'm like, well. <laughs> it's funny that those two uniforms do look similar because that's what they were designed after. Yeah. Well, and they'll admit it too. Yeah. Well, this one, the anarchist group desperately needs black dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who can be called? <laughs> Doesn't everybody have a black friend? You know? <laughs> well, oh my God! Thing, the whole <laughs> thing, well, uh, touches on something like uh, you know the continuation of. Riley's Mexican. That's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> he can't speak Spanish. So, uh, <laughs> there are some black anarchists. Don't we have black anarchists? No, this area. We don't have any black anarchists, do we? Yeah. In this area? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Oh. yeah. Why don't we invite? I mean. He's, he's homebody. He doesn't go out of the house. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Never, he never will. <laughs> he never will. Is he racist? <laughs> no, <laughs> not that he won't go out of the house. He just, like, he doesn't have a car either, so he's not coming up here. You know. But isn't it. So the cops seem to come in pretty quickly to protect them, though. Yeah, yeah. the cops came in to protect the white supremacists. Right. You don't see them doing that too often, like the Black Lives Matter. Stuff and people are like getting bowled over by cars and shit. Uh-huh. Like, I don't know. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, that there, is a thing, there's you know? a lot that of is true. there's a yeah. lot of cops that are white supremacists. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a fact. Yeah. Not all of them, but a, probably I mean, a good portion of them. I can understand them, yeah. their anger. I really legitimately can understand blacks' anger. It's just going that step. Two wrongs don't make a right. They just don't. It's just just because. Right. But, just, but you keep on saying that that two wrongs, yeah. but who what? Who are you to say that it is wrong? The history of aggression towards black is the wrong, is the original wrong. It's right. the original sin. And because that happened, just because that happened to take it out on somebody else, to me is a wrong. It's well, too wrong. Well, right. If a black guy came up to me and started punching me in the face because I'm white, right. that would be wrong based on, on the history of oppression. Right. That would be wrong. Right. Would you do but, to attack, <laughs> but to attack, <laughs> but attack a guy who's... Openly wearing the the white hood, and and the, and the and the swastika. Yeah, 
They were, and they're in the city, right? But they're like on their like it was like a patch. They weren't like in the hood. Yeah, they not all. should have been like uh, yeah. on Jackass back in like 1996 <laughs> yeah. or whatever it was. Right? You know, Jackass. C K Y T K. Like K K K. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. Dark, you know, uh, dark they would have gotten their ass. There was a, there was a comedian that would do that that kind of shit. Like he'd bring he'd go into a a a, a dry cleaners with a. a, a, a that's run by black people, and he'd bring in like uh, the oh, the hood man. and, and cloak oh, to oh. have him dry clean it. Oh, that's horrible! That's yeah, that's horrible. Well, did you hear about? Okay, so they were having a rally. I think it was in New York, like a pro rape rally. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I saw. Scared. I heard about that. I did right, hear okay. about that. But they got so scared because there was all these like female bodybuilders. I did hear that. Yeah, that was funny. That's the way to do it. I mean, that's what you shut it down. You yeah. make them not. I don't think attacking them violently yeah. is the right way, but you make you them feel uncomfortable. Maybe do intimidate <laughs> yeah. them a little bit into not, but not violently. You do it right. in a peaceful manner. I don't know. It's just can you use peaceful ways against people who are yeah, being you, peaceful? you make up you you, you use well, humor. Gandhi. You you make them you Sorry, ridicule them. Gandhi, yeah, you know? yeah nonviolence, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. ridicule Gandhi's them. That's just yeah. that's a good way to do it. I don't know how that would look. I didn't think about that until just now, but I think there's a way that they can do it peacefully. So I'm just, you know, trying to take this in, this situation, and going on... Oh, was that? No, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, but going off, like, what you said mm-hmm. about how the cops' uniform... Because I really thought that they were, like, fighting cops, and they are like, no, like you know. It yeah. Yeah, so I guess it's SS, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of goes in, into the uh, that whole notion of... What was it called? Operation Paperclip, where... As opposed to, you know, in the World War II, Germany didn't stop its programs or its, um, you know, its the things it had going. It just went underground and, like, moved over to the U.S. underground. Yeah. And, um, yeah, Germany and the lost USSR the for Germany lost the war that the Nazis extent. won. Yeah, yeah kind of a deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I and mean, what people, you know, it's like maybe just take certain technologies were, you know, implemented and what have you, but... What does that have to do with the uniforms? The uniforms, I'm going back to, uh, so it's this symbol of, of, of evil power, right? This uniform. It's an SS uniform for crying yeah. out loud. It also happens to be the police, you know, the police and everything that they stand for, right? Pol- um, is that supposed to mean something? Police? Look at it. Pole ice, right? Pole ice, yeah. Yeah, John knows. Okay. And so the, the, their crown chakra, right, would be right. frozen over. So they're just completely disconnected from any higher oh. source of love or intelligent force, like entering into their heart or or, oh or mind's gosh, awareness. Um, so and they're wearing SS uniforms to top it off, and and there's all kinds <laughs> of symbolism, symbolism into the like uniform. So a lot of cops in the UK and the US have created a by Hugo board. Boss, by the way. <laughs> oh, Hugo Boss. Yeah. I would love to right. learn about him. I'm and sure there's probably maybe something symbolism. to oh. and discover and there. I would imagine. Calling them a pawn. You know. It's not surprising okay. that stuff's all yeah. over, like yeah. dollar bills and yeah. Yeah, that's still kind Obey, of like, right? That that is kind of one of those funny things. Like I'm not really too much into the occulty stuff because to me it's like okay so you worship an owl you worship satan whatever it doesn't matter you're still a bad person i don't care <laughs> sort of you know what i mean like it's interesting to see like yeah. what sort of secret societies people are in and what they're doing all that sort of stuff but at the same time if you're a sociopath and you want to rule over other people i don't care who you're sacrificing yeah. a goat to i just don't <laughs> you know but uh that goat might care yeah the goat yeah the goat care. but yeah but then and then i you know I, I think about things like that and then every then you turn over like then look at the back side of a dollar bill and you're like there's a pyramid on the back of this <laughs> and it's unfinished and there's an eye up there that's supposed to be the eye of god and you're like, oh, it's the all-seeing eye yeah the all-seeing eye and i'm just sitting there thinking like, i don't know guys like maybe there's something to that because this is weird <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you that all comes that. From Other than that's just an esoteric form of communication because that, th- those symbols are ubiquitous in, in uh, even corporate logos. It's yeah. you know, it's just rife with all that symbolism. It's right. just the, the way that they communicate. Yeah, I should gang so, symbols, brother. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, like, uh, what is it? Uh, Acura. That doesn't mean anything. That's a word that was made up because it sounds like accurate and so to sell the car. They came up with a word to be all like, okay, well, what are we going to call? that's Japanese, really? No, it's not. It doesn't mean anything at all. They came up with the name because it sounds like accurate, precision. The car is good. It's but quick. But it's a, a yeah. Japanese. Mo- it's a Japanese company. It is, but oh. the word doesn't means nothing. Okay. Mm-hmm. The word means nothing. It's completely made up just to sell the car. 
That's interesting. I didn't know that. They do that. All people do that. I'm mark. I'm in marketing. They do that's that that's their time. cover story for it. <laughs> yeah, that's their cover. Really, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's their cover. Yeah. great significance. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Pip was na- was picked for its <coughs> its aesthetic. Yeah, you know Mr. Yeah. Pip. Mr. Pip. They they picked it from like a list. Dr. Pepper is that Pib. Pib is like a Dr. Pepper, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay. Coca Cola's yeah. okay. Dr. Pepper. Or is it Pepsi's Dr. Pepper? Which one? No. Anyway, same. Right. They're all the same, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Dr. Pepper is all killing Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's yeah. just by itself. But oh, so sweetly. <laughs> yeah, right. So something about KKK K guys getting beat up. So, so what I was going with oh, that? Yeah, uh, yeah we were <laughs> 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 direct. <laughs> was Thank that, you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> was that uh? We went from pyramid back to KKK guys real quick. <laughs> yeah, wow. these guys, these KKK, these KKK, SS uniform wearing. People that are, you know, demonstrating their hatred for their fellow, you know, to them, you know, they're ignorant. They don't know that it's their brothers and sisters or what have you. And and so they're, you know, displaying this. Uh, it is like a thing of a, like aggression. I think almost it's an ideological aggression. It is an ideological. It, it's not a physical aggression, right. but it's an ideological aggression. And sometimes so sometimes it's a physical aggression. And sometimes, and sometimes, yeah, well, it very much, it very much can be, a and logo? that's a problem. That's a physical. And one? and the and the. The uh, ideological uh, aggression is a problem. Um, and so you have this group of people who are obviously aware of you know, what, uh, how not cool and on the level these people's ideology are. And so they can't hit cops without getting shot or arrested or you know, whatever, or both. And then like, whatever, uh, who knows what happens. And, then, and so, yeah, I, I could understand them blashing out in violence towards you know, everything that that uniform and that ideology stands for. Mm-hmm. And it, cops, but not. Huh? You could understand NSS. the cops. You, no, because they can't understand punch a, a police that, officer, oh, but they can punch saying. this oh, jackass in an SS uniform, I guess, which is I also guess, a police officer. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't you know? understand but, but the whole thing it. is they can't. It's still a you know, violation of non-aggression. It's, it is. It is, still, it is an, agra- yeah. an aggression of not of. So yeah. you the still fi- it, it is. Is it, 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 is it a violation though? Because if, aren't they being they're aggressive? they're violating other people in their ideology in the, in a sense. If, if you can't no, qualify, you can't, so you can't, you can't qualify that, right? No. Yet, it's so you can only uh, in the court of law, let's say, you can only judge action. You can't judge mm-hmm. thought. Thought, right? Yeah. But you know, you can judge. An ideology, and you know their ideology, and you can determine that their ideology is aggressive and dangerous. I'm not. I'm not. I'm that not. I'm not, not advocating. In that case, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm not advocating if, a, a minority you don't know report. If, I, okay. but if, if I say I'm going to punch you, do I actually have to swing before you can re- before you can react? Yes. Because if I say well, I, I'm no, going to kill so you, I'm going to fucking kill you. That's a case. Again, we're talking about context. Yeah. It's right. case by case, right? So you yeah. have to judge the, the, the facts of the case as objectively as possible and determine that, right? But uh, I don't know. I just I, I, I unless they were just marching down the street, you know, they have a, a, a right to do that. If they were, you know, marching to some place where they were gonna hunt someone down and and kill them or whatever, or, or hang somebody, or to burn a cross on someone's land, like. Mm-hmm. That would be, you know, okay. Let's step yes. in. Let's let's stop yes, this. No, I agree. So technically, they, yeah. uh, to paint the impossible scenario, you know, it's sort of like you you have someone who's fierce for his life because someone's communicated a threat. They are closing the gap with them, and they preemptively they initiate force. In other words, they, the person who felt threatened, whether legitimately or not, uh, initiated force. They were the ones who were violent, right? They go to a court of peers or whatever, and they're wrong. They're wrong. They, they rightfully have to go and answer for their their for the charges. But maybe a jury looks at the case and says that well, their fear was legitimate, mm-hmm. and then we think that they they could maybe uh, commute the sentence, for instance, or time served, or a sponge, you know, take it, whatever, whatever the, the jury feels is appropriate, but if they initiate the person, the party that initiates force is the party that's wrong, and then they go and answer to those, to that offense after the fact. That's the way I view it. Anyway. 
Who was it? But you're saying that, that the initiated. party that initiated it actually could be a sponge by, I think, I don't know if that's the right word, yeah, right, yeah, by yeah. The, the jury. But, and if they were, then that would set a precedence for other people saying, well, I could just, well, no, you know. No, he's right, right yeah. You, it's, what it says, it. though, is if you initiate force, right, even defensively, you initiate force, you're going to be held accountable for that action. And judged on it. Okay, so you're saying they are held. But given perhaps a lighter sentence. Exactly. Right. Right. You initiate force. Okay. You are the wrong okay. party. Right? All right. All right. You may have. Le- I guess I took uh, it You may wrong. perceive a legitimate reason to initiate right. force, and and most people may agree with you. But right. as far as in a legal sense, and we can even you know all this stands even in an anarchistic sy- uh, legal system or whatever, right? But you answer to your crimes, or you, do, you answer yes. to the to. Uh, for the offenses you cause, a loss that you've created. But, uh, yeah, so that's all after the fact. That's what a jury of peers, so to speak, would determine. Anyway. I I, th- I was thinking about, okay, so how we get, you know, what we're going to talk about the show, and uh, Steve on the way down to San Diego to hang out with Drew Sample, because you're watching the show, Drew. That's the sample hour. Uh, Sorry. Sample hour, yeah, uh, he's got a show. We hung out with Drew last night. Drew bailed me out at Jackalope. Yeah. The first go around, I appreciate it, Drew. I really regret not being able to get out there. If you're watching. <laughs> if you aren't watching, I still regret not being out <laughs> So everybody check out the sample hour. It's pretty awesome. That being said, we, I was talking to Steve in the truck on the way down there, and you know, we're, we're, you know, we're talking about whether or not it's justified, and uh, I don't think it was. You can't just go up and just start hitting people and stabbing people. You can't do it. Unless there's like clear present danger, and there wasn't. But anyway, so that being said, it just made me think, it's like, isn't this just like, aren't they just hurt people trying to hurt yeah, other people? It is. Like, that's the way I think, like, all these different, like, yeah. racist yeah. groups, however yeah. you want to classify it, is yeah. like, something happened to make them yeah. think that, like, people who are almost identical to them in every way, mm-hmm. like exception of maybe of some, skin. like, physical yeah. characteristics, yeah. you know, different cheekbones and skin color is somehow so different to you that they... They're inferior or great, something. Great you know point. what happened. Great you know, point, point. ideologically, and, and, and it could just be that it could be you know child abuse too. Well, that's what yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, these are great points, and I just want to say as a as a veteran, right? I, I was just having this conversation with other vets about PTSD since I know so many with it, and speak to the idea that. Uh, the combat stress, which is not, which is in an event in and of itself, an horrific one, uh, ends up getting blamed for the the behaviors that manifest after. So you have a whole. You know, I suspect there's a whole slew of veterans getting treated for combat stress, and all all the blame for the actions are getting blamed on combat. When I strongly suggest, I strongly believe that. The preceding issues that led up to this pet choice and path is getting not addressed. Yeah, right. So to speak, okay. Exactly right. What right. You're talking yeah. About, right. Yeah. I didn't think about that with military service. Yeah. Is that why? What is the? What there's other things before they you know sign the paperwork that made them decide that it was the best thing to do to sign the paperwork. Like the family has always been in the military, and yeah. so they then choose well, that, that too. That it could be that right. Mm-hmm. That's the best case scenario <laughs> in my view. So in that under that. You may have someone who is raised well and is generally secure, but the models that they subscribe to, and I didn't mean take this off in this direction, they do so for a generally what they what you could say generally uh, well thought out and from a reasoned position. Whereas you have some others who maybe essentially were raised up in criminal neglect, which mm. I think is essentially the norm, at okay. least in the <coughs> 70s and the 80s, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's getting better, but those that generation may choose the authoritarian path because they're just looking for an outlet, right? There's a Syria, and then of course you have the those that were either molested or whatever and end up in the service, right? So there's a whole slew of problems, baggage, so to speak, that hasn't been spoken to or hasn't been addressed, and then they go into combat stress. And of course, all that shit's going to come out, mm-hmm. and combat's going to take the blame. Mm-hmm. So we talk about combat, 
and really not look deeper. Sorry about mm -hmm. that. No. No, it's good. <laughs> no, I think that's no, good. really, really. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that's. Yeah. I mean, that's on the same vein out. of like what I mentioned. So right. that's, no, not, that's not really a tangent of yeah. too far of a stretch. Yeah. Well, and, and along the same lines, you have four times the rate of suicide than people Absolutely. killed in combat. Yeah. That's yeah. insane to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I suspect take that that's SSRIs. So Reds have a, a, a big factor. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you have a medication where uh, one of its side effects is the exact same thing that it's supposed to prevent. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, is, uh, the sin of progress, man. Yeah, that, yeah. That's a marketing... This, okay, right, right. This, I'm this will either right. even you out or make you go completely crazy. Yeah. <laughs> You're either going to feel... Roll the dice. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, and the thing about those uh, SSRIs, too, is like you can't mix that with anything. Anything, you know what I mean? Like if you're on there and you're like, oh, I want to have like a drink or two. I've seen people that, like I've known who have, like are on SSRIs, have a couple drinks, and they're just gone. They're fucking nuts, you know, for like until they start sober up a little bit. Same thing with I weed. It I knew well it was like uh, coke and heroin. Oh wow, I wonder. No, if that's that's no but I mean, I, 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 I used to know a guy who was uh, he was on like uh, some goods, SSRIs, bro. and he would like and he would smoke weed and he'd still go fucking nuts. Like, you mm. just get, you know, fucking, it was, Is yeah. SSRI an antidepressant? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I took Zoloft once, and I had, like, two drinks in high school, and I blacked out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Like, well, like, yeah, it's some it's wild like shit. Three I didn't, times three, I didn't you know? remember you couldn't mix it. Yeah. Yeah, you get, yeah nothing, you, you know, so if you're going about your day, and you're like, oh, I've got to have a couple of drinks with some friends after work, yeah, okay, sure, good luck with that, you know, like, it's not just a couple of drinks, you're mixing it with something that is literally changing the way the chemicals in your brain are balanced. Wow, that might explain so, something. Yeah. A friend of uh, mine, yeah. Not me, I've never a taken friend. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a friend. I'm taking antidepressants, I swear. <laughs> I'm always happy. <laughs> so then there's no place for violent revolution then? Okay, all right, all right. So this is one of those, like, we don't, don't have our so. cell phones on no. and on YouTube <laughs> video really sort of conversations. Is. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but, I'm uh, talking I don't ideologically think here, I think not we have pragmatically. the technology to do it in a peaceful manner. I think we, with the Internet, with, our, with, uh, with the communication vehicles we have now, I don't think we have to aggress to have a, to have a, a shift in, in just the way culture is. Mm, I really right. don't. A violent revolution is not one worth having. No, I mean, it's right. not. I don't. He think who we strikes the tyrant to... dead becomes yeah. a tyrant in his yeah. stead. Yeah, so. yeah, right. And I think yeah. the, uh, the part of the evolutionary shift, so to speak, social shift, if you will, is a successful nonviolent revolution. Yeah, I agree. We throw the yoke off. Yep. Nonviolently. Yep. And we turn our backs to it. The moment that really. humans have evolved yep. another step. Well, yep. you know, and that's a, and and that's a really important part to bring up because, you know. Uh, you know, sometimes people bring up like you know American history as the outliers. Like, oh well, they didn't, they didn't, you know, put a tyrant back up, did they? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah okay, well, yeah. gave it a couple decades, and they yeah. had the Constitution, yeah. and yeah. you know, what you know, for you know, jokingly, you know, King Washington, you know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, oh, there's a whiskey rebellion. Oh, we got to put that down, yeah. you know, and uh, you know, it's just you, a name, and people buy into the definition of what. That and now name we have is. them carved into sacred mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, and then <laughs> that, that is so messed up. Yeah. That, Those sacred mountains. I can mountains. get behind that one, man. I think I said that before. Yeah, the mass, you know. Uh, demonstration. But they're not Demo idols. Demolition of Mount Rushmore. The face is intact, just like that. Oh, 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 re <laughs> just like let it. Oh. We're not <laughs> planning to That's do that. Just that would be fun. <laughs> Come on! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
None of us, none of us actually have any skill. Could skills you violently <laughs> aggress against like uh, uh, a KKK a, robot? A KKK robot who is a, a KKK female. KKK robot. Uh, wow. Who is oh. meant to? There's a fetish for that, isn't there? No. There's like a fetish of like sure there's some like sexy little Nazi. Yeah, that's a robot. There's a fetish for that, isn't there? Yeah, she's got like a little tutu. There was even a neo-Nazi that had like 17 wives or something like that. This was a while back. Or he just had a certain amount of wives and kids and whatever. Were any of them robots? I guess. Were any of them? Robots. Yeah. Oh, look at the time. Uh, yeah. In the future. <laughs> we can't talk about oh, this now. So time. Let's just keep talking about it. Oh, no. <laughs> we will talk about it one yeah, of these right, days. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, we're getting close to the robot sex episode, aren't we? We're like. 100, episode 100? Yeah, yeah, so we're getting there, guys. Yeah. We, got, we got to start. Now that it's out there, <laughs> you guys totally ruined the surprise. <laughs> oh, well, now nobody's going to believe us when we start talking about robot sex next week and we're like, oh, we're out of time. <laughs> we might do it episode 101. We might do it episode 111. Who knows? Maybe next week. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> next week. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to. We'll, have a good night. Good we'll night. stock up on our aluminum foil and, uh, and moving boxes. And